When you're property of the state, you are literally just a number. I didn't grow up exposed to heroin and pills. My life was my kids. I was soccer mom. Remember I told you I was at college? Mm-hmm. Really, mommy is in jail. That's why we can't live together right now. The real jail? Yeah, the real jail. The only way I could see my mom was to take a three-hour drive to prison. I miss this. I see Tyler three or four times a year. I know he's mad. It just is one of those things that's going to have to wait till I get out to work on. I've done the best I can, but I can't fill that void that mom can fill for him. I feel like you just grew up without me. Do I feel like I should have got 10 years in prison for a drug case? Absolutely not. Culinary class, let's go. They have their struggles, and I know those struggles because I was there with them. I was last name and a number for 14 years, so I know how that feels. You have a felony on your record. You are not a felon, and you are not continue to be a felon. If you are not the person that should get a judicial release, I don't know who is. My son just wanted to know why doesn't he want to let you out? You do good out there, OK? You're right behind me. Are you OK? Yeah, OK. I'm so excited nervous. right now. I can't believe I'm getting out of prison. She's coming home. She's coming home. <laughs> Are you happy? Yeah. <laughs> I feel bad for the disaster that I left him to deal with. Opioids is a lifelong battle. People can go 10 years and still relapse. My will's been busted and broken so many times, I don't know how it's going to fare around people who aren't good for me. Nobody went to bed one night and woke up and said, I'm going to be a junkie today. The system is designed to be punitive. But to me, it's about getting our lives restored. I love you. I love you, Mommy. This call is originating from an Ohio correctional facility and may be recorded and monitored.